An absolute bombshell was just dropped by the largest Bitcoin miner, Marathon Digital, as they have announced that they have been mining Caspa for almost one whole year. And well, how has Caspa's price reacted? Let's take a peek here. Almost 18 cents. We are near all time highs for the Cas token, according to Coin Market Cap. Here, 17.9 cents. It did leapfrog projects like ICP, projects like Fetch.ai, as people are super, super excited about the largest Bitcoin miner finally mining Caspa, something other than Bitcoin. We'll get into that here in a little bit. We're also going to talk about some of the issues people potentially have, and I'm going to quell some of those concerns. Um, and is there anyone else that is mining Caspa? What does the hash rate look like? We're going to take a peek at all of that in this video. But as far as price action, uh, looks really good for Caspa. We're actually headed for what seemed to be a head and shoulders. You see shoulder, head. This potentially would have been a shoulder, but when you have news like this and the community and the investor community reacts to news like this, you can see here we could, we probably should be expecting new all-time highs right around uh, 19.3 cents over the next few days, potentially next week or so. As the news settles in, as potentially more big companies that have been mining Caspa look at Marathon and their announcement and say, Hey, it's an announcement party. We're going to come out and announce it too. We'll speculate on that a little bit as well. But you can see here from this daily chart on the Caspa token, we seem to be potentially breaking out of this cup and handle pattern. And if we do break out of this and this pattern does play out, the price target we'd expect from the breakout here would be right around 21.9. Let's just call it 22 cents, which would be an all-time high for Caspa. We talk about this on our live show all the time. $1.50 to $2 Caspa is definitely something that we're eyeing. Now, this marathon news uh, didn't come as much of a surprise, although it's great news to us here. Well, because we've had the pleasure and the privilege of sitting down with the Caspa team at length. We even did an interview with them. Uh, it is this one on our homepage on YouTube. Uh, this one here with a picture of Shy and Must Watch, where they kind of teased that large entities that they have been speaking with and that are going to make some announcements soon. I pushed them to offer a name, but of course they couldn't offer a name. Well, now we know that name is Marathon Digital Holdings. Uh, announces Caspa Mining Operations. This is from the Marathon website. Uh, today announced that the company is mining Caspa. Uh, it goes on to say, in this press release, similar to Bitcoin, Caspa is an open source, decentralized, and fully scalable layer one protocol that uses proof of work as this consensus mechanism in May of 2023. So over a year ago, Marathon began, began evaluating Caspa as a potential way to diversify its revenue while continuing to utilize its current infrastructure and expertise in digital asset compute. After successfully deploying its first Caspa ASICs in September of 2023, the company began scaling its operations. Marathon has purchased approximately 60 pay to hash of the three ASICs, each of which is estimated by ASIC minor value to generate profit in certain cases up to 95% margins given the current network difficulty rate and the price of the KAS token. As of June 25th, 2024, Marathon has mined 93 million CASPA tokens, which are currently valued at approximately $15 million. Why is this so significant? Marathon is the number one one Bitcoin mining company in the entire world, well, at least in the United States, that's publicly traded, with a market capitalization of $5.62 billion. You can see there, their stock today is up 2.66%, which leads me to this here. Um, we kind of should have seen this coming, right? Uh, oh, a lot of people should have seen this coming. So this is uh, tweeted from Orangutan Elder, uh, quoting uh, Adam Swick, the chief growth officer, uh, he shared a stage with the Caspa team uh, at the event in Las Vegas, said, uh, quote, I'm Adam Swick, the chief growth officer at Marathon, the largest publicly traded Bitcoin mining company. I'm here a huge Caspa fan. We should have put two and two together, right? Uh, if the rumors are true, and I believe it is, this is going to bring legitimacy and attention to Caspa. Caspa is not just another coin. We take a look at their hash rate. Uh, going back to September of last year, you can see the hash rate was slowly starting to tick up with, with a big tick up here back in November of 2023. As we assume from their press release, they started scaling their operations. And here it looks like they just said, screw it. 
dump $100 million into Casper ASICs and let's mine this sucker because we went from around 249 pay to hash to over 300 in a matter of three days. And so this is big. Now, some people, right? Now, what are some concerns people have? One concern is, hey, does it make Casper more centralized, right? Now you have Marathon. They're deploying all these ASICs. They have the resources. They have the money. Can they overtake the network? Can they change things? Can they do whatever? Um, my thing is Bitcoin kind of started the same way, right? Started the same way. And with Caspa, it's a lot less money and resources to enter into Caspa mining. So we should see more companies come in and announce or at least start dabbling in mining Caspa. And so as that happens, the network uh, hash rate will get dispersed pretty much like Bitcoin's was over the last eight to 10 years. The other one is, well, they got 93 million Caspa tokens. They're going to start dumping, right? Um, again, takes way less resources, way less money to be able to to uh, to take over the network or or you don't need as much. We talk about profit margins, 95% margins for Marathon and mining Caspa, um, which less overhead equals less sell pressure. I did speak with Wolfie, the lead business developer uh, over at Caspa. And I'm just reading here because I, I wanted to write down, write down, make sure I got everything correct. So he said, uh, Marathon found Caspa on their own. Um, they contacted Wolfie in November of 2023 and they met for the first time in Los Angeles in January of this year. So this thing has been in the works, not a peep from anyone as it should have been. And so which leads a people to a speculation of um, who's next, right? Kind of makes this from a shoe wrecked. Kind of makes you wonder who else is mining Caspa and hasn't spoken up yet. Uh, kind of alluding to what I was saying. I do think as Caspa's market cap grows, as the volume continues to grow, now you get crazy speculations like, are we going to see an ETF? I think we need to take this thing one step at a time. But it's pretty safe to say some of the largest companies, some of the smartest people are looking at Caspa, seeing the potential and probabilities of what it can do. And they're excited about it enough to deploy capital, buy hardware, and start mining the token. Um, and and why is this so important, guys? Outside of Marathon's got a lot of money. Outside, they're the largest Bitcoin miner. Marathon has only ever mined one coin, and that is Bitcoin, ever. For as long as they've been mining, only one. Now we can add Caspa to that list. Extremely bullish for Caspa, for the future, and we don't even have smart contracts yet. So what is Caspa going to look like? Am I going to have to change my price prediction target for Caspa from $2 up to 4 to $5? I want to see what continues to happen next with the mining, how the KRC rollout comes out. So... With that being said, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you can get all the up-to-date information on Caspa. Uh, there is no other channel that has the ties that we have to the Caspa team. So if you want the, the alpha on Caspa, you're going to get it here at Sin City Crypto. Make sure to subscribe and come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.